Hold on, let me look at this shit. Uh, all right, that is the most. I am on the most recent save. I wanted to just start New Game Plus, but you have to create a New Game Plus loadout. Saving Hero Creep. New Game Plus loadout. Blah, blah, blah. All right. There we go. And I am playing on ultra hard. <clears throat> Merchant wares are more expensive. Oh, that sucks. Wait, what is Rost? 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 Where is he? Two, Two days, days before, before the proving, and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Wait, why? What is going on here? Why would it not fucking... I mean, am I like forgetting how the game starts? Like, I thought it started with her being a little kid. They better not fucking skip that for the new game plus. Like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, it didn't even ask me. Because if it did, I would have fucking... There's no way this is the start of the game. Why? Oh, man. What's he doing up there? He's I'm gonna be so annoyed if if I can't What's going on with him? do New Game Plus, or if I can't start from the beginning on New Game Plus. Because that means I'm gonna have to start from the beginning on a totally different save and then reload this. So I guess that's not a big deal, I guess, but it's still annoying. Like, why would they not give us the choice? You're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. But I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt. Learned to... Yeah, no, there's no way this is right. There's no way. Wait. Horizon. Her oh my god, stupid thing. Horizon Zero Dawn New Game Plus skips intro.
shit. Okay, so the, here's the intro move. Right, but now I'm, I'm concerned that if I could do new game, I just still can't believe that it skips. How can it skip the fucking intro? How can it do that? Yeah, no, what is going on, dude? I don't understand why... I'm gonna have to do new game. Jesus. Ah, damn it. So, so, yeah, I do need to watch the fucking... Son of a bitch. That's annoying, man. Like, uh... Here we go. Eight minutes later, finally actually starting the game. I think. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, Water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. 
You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this one day. the ritual? No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you? But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... <laughs> I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go! And be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! <laughs> and so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. Oh, I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. All right, here we go. I still can't believe that the game is making me do this. Like, like why would you not just let me play it from the start? I don't understand. I thought I erased one of these saves. I don't know, I'll erase it again. I don't know, whatever. That's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done. That's a good boy. Children. 
Come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. Looks tight, but I can get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. It's really cool. never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. I was just changing my back buttons because I know I'm gonna need to. What is that? That's why I love these things. Everywhere. How does he do this? 
A metal door, closed. Maybe this device I found can help. More lights. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. Changed color. The door changed color too. device like the one I found you think I want it this way it's the best I can do he's right behind you hi <laughs> happy birthday Isaac daddy sure does love his little big man <laughs> look daddy can't be there with you and mom but we can still have a party right <laughs> sure we can <laughs> Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, a mouse. Oh, I'm a rat. Why? Why won't it play? The hell? Oh, oops. Well, happy new year, dear diary. Can you believe we actually celebrated last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So there we sit watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but... I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. <laughs> I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Sean and handing out meds like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, 
an exclamation mark. So if that upsets... Why did they die here? What bad. happened to them? I don't know anyone, anything, anymore. I mean, seriously? Record our thoughts for posterity? Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. And Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. Never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Should have gone. What is she singing? Yeah, no, no thanks. And maybe that's all I need, you know? That moment the door opened and you were standing there wearing that retro wig dress and the way you smiled. I had to look away or you were gonna see on my face what had just blossomed inside me, you know? It was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. And pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. I'm sorry. Hello. It's been a while. Hello. I love these meds. He found me. Ross found me. Down here. I'm coming. Praised. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. <laughs> Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <laughs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, You'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch, and I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant? 
over here. It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. <laughs> they may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mother's embrace. Embrace. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Mm. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Another one. Let it pass. Come, back this way. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. up there. He's smiling at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Forget what does this photo mode have? Oh yeah, this photo mode has some awesome stuff, but I think it's locked right now. But uh still cool. Oops. Damn it. Ha! Get! 
Oh, they actually listen. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. Aloy, over here. Aloy, come, there's the herd. All right, it's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Aloy, throw a rock near me. There. Oops. Come, girl, it's safe now. Oh, I could have gone down there. Oh, whatever. Huh. Actually, you know what? Change in my buttons. Oh, damn it. There we go. I'm going to put uh, this on uh, one of my back buttons. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. Now. Gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for arrow heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Here, stay low in the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. The Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your prey. Its hide is thick. But there are spots where it is vulnerable, like its eye. Can you guess another? The cat is still on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. What, that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. 
Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out. Good strike! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick! I don't know how they could skip this for New Game Plus. I mean, I guess... I can see why they'd give people the option, but, like, this is kind of an important part of the fucking story, right here. so I can sneak past them. Can't let them see me. I need to see their paths. Almost there.
Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. B bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Uh, Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now! Back to Mother's heart. And you... I thought he, like, broke his leg. Not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. <laughs> Back to picking berries. Oh, you're bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before. That's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the Matriarchs brought you to me. So the Matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, hey, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The Matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me! The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard, and it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Um, so this is the spot where I can load up New Game Plus. I wonder if it'll actually be here. Uh, I don't see it. Jeez, I made a million quick saves. Yeah, no, I didn't do it, so I'm gonna have to go to the menu. No big deal, though. Ultra hard. She's got the Rost the shield suit, which for ultra had you definitely Rost Rost. Where is he? Two days before the proving, and he goes off without me. He wouldn't do that. Seventeen hundred ninety five uh, wood. Right, I'm going to make my first manual save. Why is it missing? Oh, it's not. Oh, that's weird. You know, I don't think the other save said complete edition, did they? So. He said we go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens... after the proving? What happens is clear. 
You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grotto might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind, if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grotta follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but... I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. If he thinks I'm gonna abandon him, he's wrong. Grab it. Cool. It's, it's Daisy. The Doom Slayer's rabbit. <laughs> And if I kill it, Doom Slayer will come and kill me. Fucking. <clears throat> I never killed any rabbits in the game, anyways. The embrace. So even if that were true, I got nothing to worry about. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was, and why I was cast out at birth. No, it's excuse for that. it's gonna take a lot more than two days. I need to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Spoil alert. Oh no! Wrong thing. Oh yo, I have all of my weapons, <laughs> so... Yeah, this should be kind of easy. What? Oh. Damn, so I'm, already, I'm starting off the game and already having to worry about inventory bullshit. Damn it. But. Got too much already. Yeah, I do. What I don't have too much of is medicine plants. Uh, so, yeah, I'll grab those, I guess. I wonder why the screen has to go 
dark when you save or quick save. Seems a little weird. Probably necessary though. These are helpful. Bitter though. So now I see why I whistled by accident. Oh wait, so I think I might have already got the parts I needed. Wait, actually, now that I think of it, if I have all my resources for my last playthrough, I should have already had the parts to begin with. I'm so glad they did the 60 FPS patch for this, though. Plays and looks a lot better now. Plus, why not? It's like the PS5 can do it, so. Aloy, you're here. You have the fire arrows. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I no, I didn't. What that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make? It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Well, perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Until then, we wait. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight.
opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Or boar. Be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we've passed are theirs. And tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. Alright, I think that seems a little brighter. It's huge. How do you defeat it? That will be for you to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I noticed that the, uh, my traps. the stream looked a little, um, dark. I don't even think I have the... Yeah, I don't. I don't have the trip casts or even equipped. Which... Wait, I have skill? Oh, they must have unlocked new skills. That's cool. But, uh, I forget. How do I equip... Oh. Alright, never mind. There's a the chip caster. All right. Actually, let's see what he's weak to. Fire. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, yeah. Can I highlight his track? Yeah, sweet. Oh, 
Oh shit, he sees me. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, why didn't Tripcaster get it? I don't understand why that's not working. There, that time it worked. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Oops. Just stay out of their way for now. Oh no, I don't know if I put it close enough to the... Oh, okay, yes, I did. Oh, you know what I should do? I should try shocking... Oh, no, never mind. He's dead. Hmm. Can you pick the tripwires back up? Yeah, you can. That's cool. Oh, I think it wants me to pick up the heart. So I have to get rid of something. Damn it. Um Stormbird lens. How's that only a uh Um, all right. Wait, it still has the thing here. Why? Forget about traveling light. Hold on, maybe if I use some blaze by crafting, I'll have room. There we go. Yeah. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe would... Aloy is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. 
When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloyne. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. Right. Oh, there's a fox. <clears throat> Wonder if it'll lead me to uh, a shrine or something, <laughs> like in Ghost of Tsushima. Fighting them. Me too. Uh, it's like they're gonna make me. How did he beat me here? So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're going to let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? 
You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. I have to let him go. For now. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? What about, uh, no problem. We will what's his name? In the meantime, Errand. Enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. Uh -huh. We'll talk later. May the goddess protect. It's gotta be that guy, Teb. What is going on? It's better than last year. My mother's day. Ooh, it was more solid. Ah, this brings me back. Wait, this kind of looks like that douchey kid. I don't know if I'd come here if I was you. Not that I know what that's like, an outcast or poverty. Huh. Imagine. Our mother will guide us. I've seen this same girl like five times so hey, far. Boy. It's you, isn't it? Is this the hey, same? Is that... Yep, I knew it. Aloy, here. I have something for you. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, she does. You don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. 
I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. There. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Uh, th thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. <laughs> well, it's yours. <laughs> the outfit didn't you'll change find it at all. More protection than what you were wearing. No, no Every way. Outfit offers some <laughs> advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. I can trade with them. Decided to do some shopping. What? Oh, it took away my metal shards. But I could always. So I probably have way better stuff than that. And plus, I'm probably gonna have to use the sh the uh. Sh the shield suit for the entire game because it's on ultra hard Happens every year. <laughs> At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. Listen carefully now. Oh, well, you'll have to festival. tell this when I'm gone. It's only fitting to part In ways the with another. All life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts. All were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the Faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. Mm. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible, monuments to their sins. But they would <laughs> not serve the faithless. Monuments no. to their sins. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. And then the faithless served the Metal him, Devil served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, 
and tried to I know that's something in the game. I forget what it was. Like they would not maybe it's Hades. They gathered uh, on the mountainside to cling to her and pray. But I wouldn't think devoted than ever. That they would on like be louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to I, confront the mother. I think mother, that they think a metal devil is like just an individual machine, down. not an AI like Hades. As you know, for his but maybe Hades took Christ control over something and frozen yeah. in shame and device. The machines were driven yeah, everyone mad. Everyone always says that the last year's festival was bad. Every year, without fail. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed oh, to trade without casting Greg Jackson. Wires, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Oh, that's what I could use. Health potions. Although, actually, fuck. I don't have a lot of money. Oh, yeah, I can always sell stuff, right? Oh, I ain't selling that. That's important. Actually, yeah, I should sell anything I have duplicate of. Oh, I have a bunch of duplicate. Luminous braiding. Rich meat. Hmm. Wait, what happens if I do mark to sell? He's not interested in that at all, right? <laughs> Wait, how much money did I end up with? Okay. Wait, what are these? What? Whatever. All right then, time to go. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. Perhaps the card has come to make amends. I won't deny them the chance. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the card job. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner oh, of peace. There he is. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude 
Killers and slavers! Yeah! Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold the... your fruit, nor a uh, uh, Nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a parent <laughs> and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja, but the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? Mm. The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> People of the Nora, on the eve of your proving, know the Karja stand with you. Unknown device detected. Huh. As those you have nurtured, He's wearing a focus. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places forbids them who says i'm like other nora why well, yeah. i guess you're not if you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world what's wrong apologies uh a malfunction oh lynn you making friends with locals are we i'll i'll come back wait no uh we'll talk later have to go whoa well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> I think he, I know why he's acting he like that. The trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. <laughs> I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I yep. grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? <laughs> or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. 
<laughs> so, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the son sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, yeah. working. It sounded like he said group. fart of the and Northwest. <laughs> I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Uh, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous. So long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right Wait, out. what? A few if that wasn't like the Yeah, to why did it I don't know. No one. Usually it grays out the ones I haven't asked. That's how I keep track, but that one the Karja have such a cruel history. Was it grayed out? I don't know. Them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see the spire. it. Spire. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. <laughs> well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell.
I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, mm -hmm. hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but <laughs> it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? It's for the goddess to judge the Karja, not me. Yeah, he, he wants to smash... I think I forgot about that because they never. Or, uh. Never mind. Honored guests. Makes me sick. Oh, here he is. Don't you have a blessing to attend? Yeah. Let's talk later. I'm not gonna be able to finish it though, which sucks. Yo, um. Holy shit, I'm noticing that the fucking, uh, the delay is way less than it used to be. Alright, let's count. Wait, is this live? Oh, no, it's not that much less. Never mind. Sorry. It's like eight or nine seconds. It used to be like 12 or 13. Not that different. But better. It's cool. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Is that the douchey blonde kid? In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. All oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So from one to another passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Oh, he's right there. Just look at him. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. 
I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. <laughs> I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. Great, now the game is looking really dark on my uh, screen, too, so. Yeah, I guess it's a little I better. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Perhaps the Kaja have come to make amends. I won't deny them. Supply crate. Oh, you can't tag him. That kind of sucks. I wanted to find a campfire, though. Just because I'm going to... Not this kind. The saving kind. Okay, it's right where I'm going. Just because I'm gonna have to go, which sucks. I really fucking just want to keep playing. What is this? Oh, she just puts her hands up. Alright, so next time... I will... Be able to just jump in and do the proving and all that. Fuck. I don't want to go. Wait. Are those new trophies? Oh yeah, it's for the fucking... Frozen Wilds. All right. That sucks, but I gotta go.